What is your favorite season of the year? Is it summer? Is it fall, winter, or spring? I like all seasons, but I think my favorite is fall. Hi, I'm Lisa Spencer. This is my furry friend, Lila. What do I like about fall? I like all the beautiful colors. I like the cool, crisp air too. And speaking of those beautiful colors, one of the ways we get them is through the leaves changing colors in the fall. And that's what our story is about today. But it's all from the perspective of a leaf. A Very Big Fall by Emily Kastner. Let's find out who's talking in this story. All the leaves had ever known was the sway and stretch and green of the trees. Then one day, the wind blew colder. And the leaves knew something different was in the air. I'm loving these crisp breezes, Bert said. Is this what flying feels like? Everything is perfect, and I don't want anything to change, said Oak. No fair, said Maple. Those trees have apples. I want apples. This is just the beginning, you know, a squirrel chirped. Birch was curious. The beginning of what? Fall, said another squirrel. Fall? The leaves agreed. That was a silly name for colder weather. It happens every year, the first squirrel explained. You'll start changing color soon, and then... We change colors, Bert said, ready for adventure. But green is a very nice color to be, said Oak. Oh, squirrels think they know everything, Maple rolled her eyes. Although the squirrels had been right about rain and cats and tree houses, maybe they were right about this too. Turned out, Oak loved being yellow, and Birch was quite impressed with her new hue. But change wasn't quick for everyone. Maple thought Birch looked nice in orange, but was jealous of Oak's yellow, her favorite color. She was certain that at any moment she too would turn a sunny shade of... Nope, still green. She had to keep waiting her turn. Amidst the changes, the leaves were still leaves. They couldn't help but listen to conversations below. Ooh, squealed Birch. Look, pie. What's pie? Oak asked. I don't know, but I want some, Maple sighed. You'll be able to hear better once you're on the ground, said one of the squirrels. The ground? The treetops erupted. What? How fast will I go? Hmm, that's too far down. We fall? What about the trees? Down there? I'm nervous and excited. No, thank you. Will it hurt? What if a friend isn't ready to fall? Can I go first? The wind blew harder yet. Then it started to happen. For Birch, it was a joyous leap through the windy sky. Oak had more of a hesitant trip downward. Am I close? Not really. Keep going, said Birch. Maple was high in the branches, alone. She was not yellow. She was not falling. Impatient to join her friends, Maple yanked and pulled. I'm not sure I'd be in such a rush to get down there, said one of the squirrels. There are bottoms and boots and gutters, old dogs and ravers and rakes. Mabel stopped tugging. But it was too late. Down, down, down she went. Somehow the world seemed bigger on the ground. Mabel was telling her friends about the boots and the rakes when there was a sudden gust, then a whoosh. And the leaves were swept into a topsy-turvy swirl. Is that a gutter? Mabel shouted. That must be a rake, said Oak. Do I smell pie, said Birch. 
That's when they heard a whisper. There you are. And met a someone. She held oak, birch, and maple close to her chest because that's what you do with very special things. The girl listened closely. See that? I'm a pirate, said Birch. Can you draw me bravely carrying ten leaves down the tree? Oak asked. You know, I always knew I'd be red, said Maple. And fall was new all over again. Aw, how about Birch, Oak, and Maple? They were all different colors of fall, yellow or kind of a golden color, orange and red. Well, what's your favorite fall color? Is it orange like the pumpkin? Or do you like that red or that golden color? I'm not sure what mine is. I like them all and all together. That was a sweet story about a very big fall by Emily Castor. I hope you enjoyed reading along with us today. Be sure to join us again for story time on the back porch. Right, Lila? Be sure to subscribe.